guys, welcome back to the channel. So as many of you guys know, I have an Owen Cobra and I kind of recently just put a front bumper on it, got it painted and all that, but there's something missing that I still haven't put onto it and that's a chin spoiler. I really wanted to put the factory Terminator chin spoiler on there, but is a little out of my price range for right now as I'm not trying to put too much money into the car. So I have a cheap option that I've done before on my old silver GT. I did it on my 01 Bullet and it actually looks really good. I'm sure plenty of you guys have already seen this done before, but what we have is some garage door sealer. It's from like Home Depot or Lowe's and it was about 10 bucks. They do have a bigger roll, but it's a lot more than needed. So the, uh, the nine foot roll is all you really need. It, as you can see, it's plenty. So it's very flimsy stuff. It looks like this, but when you put it up to the car or the bumper, I'll just show an example right here. If you can fit it right, it looks like a chin spoiler. Now the hardest part is deciding how you want to actually put it onto the car. I've done it with double-sided tape, which worked pretty good. And I've also used self-tapping screws. We're going to run to Home Depot real quick and get some tape. If you have self-tapping screws like these, it can be done and it works pretty good. But for my case, I just kind of want to do it the easier way and double-sided tape makes this job a hell of a lot easier. So let's go get some tape and then we'll be back. So we got the double-sided tape. Now I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to put this on here. You don't wanna to use too much. What I like to do is just cut little sections of it and place it on the chin spoiler first. And one nice thing too, if you have a Terminator front bumper, there's these slots on the bottom where the factory chin spoiler usually sits. So you can just put this chin spoiler in there like you would the factory one. And then I'll probably put some tape behind there too, but for now I'm just gonna get it um, the rest of it right. Okay, so I'm putting some tape in between where these uh, bumper clips are, just a little square, and that should be good enough to hold this front part. Okay, so ran into another problem. The double-sided tape isn't working. I don't know why it's not sticking to the chin spoiler. I think I might've used the 3M tape the last time I did this. If not, then they changed something on the garage sealer, which now that might be a different material. So if you're gonna try the double-sided tape, don't try the Gorilla Glue, try the 3M, it might work. But now we're going back to the screws. All right, hopefully the screws will work. I mean, I have no doubt that they will. Obviously, whenever you go the cheaper route, you might run into little problems like this. So if you don't wanna worry about this, I'd say definitely get just get the factory Terminator chin spoiler. But for anybody that's on a budget, this is a good way to do it. I think we got a nice routine way of doing it here. One thing you want to keep in mind is that if you notice on this one, it's a little further back from where it bends down. And so it's kind of folding down compared to the other ones. So the closer you keep it to the folding edge, the better. Now what I'm doing here, I'm leaving about, I don't know, seven inches of gap or something like that in between the screws. You can do however you want to do it. But how I'm doing it is I'm putting the screw onto the gun, fine, placing the chin spoiler where I want it, getting it as close to the edge as I can. Now, the problem is that the chin spoiler catches with the screw. So if you just get it started, take it back out. Now there's the hole on the bumper drill through a little bit take it back out now use a hand screwdriver just kind of make the hole a little bigger 
in the chin spoiler, put the screw in it, and then use the hand screwdriver to put it in now because it's still going to try and catch a little. So if you just hold it, massage it around if it starts to catch. And there you go. All right, so the bumper is on the car and the chin spoiler came out looking pretty decent. There's some little things here and there, like you can see it's not very straight right there on the end. Um, the other side looks kind of worse because I couldn't get the screw on the very edge like I did the other side, so it kind of flaps down right there. But for 10 bucks, it did its job. Um, might be a temporary thing but I'm also considering selling the car, so I didn't want to throw, you know, $200 into a chin spoiler just to make it look good when this looks perfectly fine. 